Good morning, guys. It has been a very long time since I decided to record a video. It has been crazy. It's going to get crazy. A lot of things are happening next week, so I'm going to try to vlog the best I can for you guys, but we will see. So recently, I found a recipe on a YouTuber's page and on Instagram that I found it and on Pinterest, but I didn't think it would be as good as it was and is. So I started making it throughout the week and I finally got down and practiced the recipe for what it calls for. So I thought I would make a video on it. This will be part of the vlog. I mean, not much is going on today. It's just a rest weekend for me for the start of next week because next week's going to be chaotic. So I will show you guys what we are making. I missed you guys so much. I miss my YouTube family. I miss recording videos. I miss sharing my ketogenic journey with you. I miss everything with you. I lost my ring light during the wedding this weekend. So now I don't have a ring light for it in here. So the light looks horrible. But guess what? It is what it is. So I am making the Keto Egg McGriddle. Um, it represents and replicas the McGriddle from McDonald's. So let's just jump right in. So guys, this is what my McGriddle looks like. It is so bomb. So bomb, guys. Amazing. Tastes delicious. I usually cut it in half so that way I can actually eat it and not have to bite into it like a crazy woman. So this is what my McGriddle looks like. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to eat this and drink a glass of ice water. And I will keep you guys posted on what I do throughout the day. Hey, guys. So, yeah. Um, a little clickbait for you. I am sorry. I was gonna be the person who never did clickbait, but it is what it is I finally figured out what it was and how it worked and I'm sorry But keto works for me and I hope to God you're not mad at me And if you're curious and if you're that person that's searching up on YouTube right now what keto is and you saw my picture and title I'm glad you are reviewing this YouTube video and welcome my name is Lauren and yeah keto works for me it has been working for me and my boyfriend or my boyfriend and I so keep on watching and I'll tell you why how much we have lost and why I chose this sorry so we're back to where it all started it was on this chair in front of this window but not with my cell phone it's with the camera it has been a long time since I sat down and decided to talk to you guys and keep you guys posted on my life. It's been a crazy past week and a half month. Crazy. And I try, I vlogged. I took videos. I recorded and I did all this stuff. I just didn't have time to edit the videos and I didn't have time to sit down and take a break. So I am back. Hopefully I can do this in the future. I love doing YouTube. Hopefully I can keep it up and Yeah So let's Tell you what's all happened in my life. So we are still on keto um, This week has been really rough for me. It's always rough for me when it's that time of the month Sorry guys, but women, you know the deal It's really hard to stay on track when your cravings and hormones are off the wall so, I've been staying on track. I ate two things bad. I try to keep up on my bangs because if I drink this bang, the cravings from the cotton candy scent, like the candy and sweet scents, changes my appetite. I really don't get hungry. I don't have sweets. I don't have cravings. The only time I have cravings is at night because I can't drink this bang. So, and if you guys have not tried bang, I recommend trying it. I love cotton candy, Adam loves blue rice, so I'd give it a try. Anyways, so Adam, Adam is dropping weight like a fly, if that makes any sense. He started out at a weight, I don't know if he wants me to say it on the internet, but he started out at a weight, and he's down 26 pounds already. In less than two months, he's down 26 pounds. I'm super thrilled about him. I'm super happy because 
since I've met him, I've been on diets, I've tried products, I've tried supplements, and he tried to keep up with me. He tried to eat what I was eating. I was eating every two hours, so he ate every two hours. But he, before I met him, he only ate like two times a day, three times, luckily. If he had time, it was three times. So changing his diet, trying to stay up with me, it was really, really challenging. And he gained weight because of me. So I was like, I came down to it. We've been together for almost four years now. I came down to it saying, we're together. We're living together now for the past year. And we have to figure something out because you're not losing weight. I'm not losing weight. You're gaining, I'm gaining. So we finally figured it out and this ketogenic diet is working miracles for him. He feels amazing. He's had made, he had to make two or three more new holes in his belt and he doesn't want to buy a belt. He wants to see if this will stick off and he'll keep drilling holes through his belt. Classic Adam. So I am super happy for him. I'm losing weight also. I am just so bloated. I'm not getting on the scale for at least two weeks because when it's that time of the month, I'm bloated for like a month. And it's just mind blowing how bloated I get. So I am down before my lovely shark week. <laughs> I am down still, I'm off and on. I'm down 15 pounds total. Super pumped about that because my weight has never dropped this quick without supplements. I'm not taking any supplements at all. So to, to me, that's amazing because I'm doing this the old natural way. Yeah, I'm drinking a bang that has nothing to do with weight loss supplements. There's not even anything weight loss a bowl in a bang. It's just a energy drink with zero calories. So yeah, we're super pumped. He's dropping weight like it's nothing. And that's just men. So that was the story about that. Um, next week, I am starting my semester in school. I have been in school, most people don't know this and I don't know why I'm saying it, but I've been in school for the past three semesters. I did two online, one in school, and I'm trying it again. <laughs> I'm still trying it from the last time I talked about it, but this time like, I only need one more class, which I'm taking this fall, and I can apply to my programs that I wanna get in. I need to do this, I have to do it, I need money, I need a job, I need a career, I need, yeah. I love YouTube, I'm gonna stay on YouTube as much as I can, but I have two, I have one hard class that I know I'm gonna struggle with, and I'm not scared to admit that, so I have to find a tutor at this school. And then the second one is okay, it's easy, but I heard she's rough. So, we are going to stick with that. I heard both of my teachers are really nice. I got recommended for both of them from prior students of theirs, and I'm super pumped that I got them. I'm just not pumped about taking two classes at once. I'm more of a one person, one class a person job, like that's me. And I know it's gonna take longer, but I'd rather take longer than struggle, stress, and fail. So that is my point of view. So that's why if I am vacant and I don't post videos that often, that is why. And if you wanna keep up with me, I do post on Instagram a lot. I will go, I go on stories more often now because it's quicker and I don't have to edit the story. I just have to keep redoing it. So that is my plan, that is my goal, and I'm hoping to stay on YouTube from now on. I will show struggles, I will show everything. I am a transparent person, and I'm super pumped. So yeah, it has been a crazy, I had a wedding last week, I'm supposed to be going to one tomorrow, but I can't, so. I'm going to tell you guys about the story of Adam and I, okay? That sounds like Adam and Eve, you know? Adam and I. <laughs> so, we have been together for three and a half years. The first two, I'd say the first two and a half years, we lived in separate houses. He lived at his parents, I lived at my parents, and it was like hard. We lived about 45 minutes from each other. We met online. And it was so hard because we were both putting so many miles on our car, we could not keep up with it. We were running our cars down, we were destroying the cars. Oops. I always see in my videos that my nipple in my on my necklace is showing. I don't know what you call it, penis nipple, but anyways. It was really hard for us to keep track with stuff. We were constantly going out, we were constantly eating because it was just something that we did and we gained a lot of weight. Like I lost weight, so gained a lot of weight. 
and once we finally were like okay three and a half years i think we should like get a house together i really was stressed about that i didn't want to get a house together he wanted to get a house so he got the house long story short once we moved into this house it was immediate renovations we had to paint we had to fix the house we had to fix all the problems that were the problems i mean we started before we got the house we had to do stuff for the loan and stuff but it was so stressful and the easiest thing to eat was pierogies frozen pizza mac and cheese chicken strips like everything frozen um we constantly went out to eat we constantly went to sheets which is our local gas station we constantly just kept spending money like we had it we gained so much weight back guys it was disgusting like I couldn't even tell you, we had pierogies every single night. For lunch, we had pierogies. We were eating pretzels, we were eating Pop-Tarts. It was just something we had to do because one, we didn't have enough pots and pans and we didn't have spatulas. We didn't have a lot of stuff because we literally moved in, we got the house and we waited a week. We fixed up the house as much as we could. We came in, we threw the bed on the floor in here. If you followed me from years, from a while ago, it's almost been a year. We had the bed on the floor. We had the TV on our laundry basket. We just got tired of driving back and forth. And if you moved, if you moved, or if you're moving, you know the struggle. It was just really hard for us to go home every night after a long day of putting in work at this house. We both worked. I worked a morning job. He worked a whatever they wanted to give him type of job. Finally, he got out of that. But it was really stressful so the easiest thing for me to do was make pierogies spaghetti mac and cheese frozen pizza we had so much junk food in this house it made me sick i was still taking supplements thinking oh yeah if i take the supplement it's gonna work but it's just that was a story why we gained so much weight we gained literally so much weight and it's only been a year in this house so I knew, we both knew we had to do something. So finally, once I found out, like I knew about keto, but once we found out more about what it was and how it worked and how it was working for my friend that I work for and how grateful and happy she was because she found keto, we were like, okay, let's give it a try. No supplements. So that means we're going to save about 200 bucks a month. We saved more money. I mean, I invested in some products for keto, exogenous ketones, but I don't, and I won't and I still don't take them I still have a whole box of them um, I got sick anyways so we were like okay let's try this so so far it's been amazing and it's working and we're eating food and we're not taking supplements and we're saving so much money extra a month and everyone's like oh well if you worked it you didn't have to spend the money I'm a person not to push someone and it's about the storm so it's gonna get darker as the clouds roll in but I'm not a person to push somebody and I don't like to say like, hey, you need to take these supplements, you need to do this. Have faith in yourself. Like I am a motivator, but I don't want to push something on someone. And that's all I was doing for so long and I'm so disgusted what what I was doing. And teaching someone how to eat healthy with foods is so much easier than saying, hey, you need to take this supplement because it's healthy and hey, you need to do this because so many sports endorsers do it. And like, no, but the whole point of this video and this rambling is keto is working for us and we're super pumped because we're saving so much money and wow has this lighting changed in less than two seconds anyways so once we sat down we said we have to figure something out i said let's give this keto journey a try let's try everything and let's see how this works and i went to my doctor she approved of it so i'm going back in six months to see my checkup I already lost 15 pounds all natural no supplements like when she gave me the go away all the time because she's been right about everything since i found this doctor so she gave me the go away she said that's okay i really like this diet for you i think you should do it so adam didn't go to the doctor but he just he hasn't been to the doctor in many moons because he's just a healthy healthy camper knock on wood but yeah i've been rambling for 12 minutes so this is just gonna go in one vlog the lighting has changed dramatically, guys. The storm is rolling in. Let me show you. And the thunder rolls. Oh, guys, 
This was my herbs. Remember I posted about it? <laughs> These are my herbs. They're dead. And they left the nice, very nice. They ruined the window. Anyways, so that is why we had to find keto. That's how we found it. That's why we are doing it. And it's just mind blowing to think that something like this is working for me. I always thought supplements were the need and wanted and we just had to change. We knew we had to change. We knew that there was something wrong. We were eating too much. Like, I'm not even joking. When we, we were eating over, well over, well over three or 4,000 calories a day, just alone in breakfast. Um, it's sickening to think where we were and where we are now. And there's a, a dryer sheet on the ground. Hey, it is what it is. Point out my dryer sheet in the comments below. Hey, um, but that's what I just wanted to say. I haven't, wow, did it get dark. I haven't talked to you guys in so long and I felt like I was abandoning my subscribers and I was abandoning my friends, but life happens. Vlogging is easy to do. I can do it. The whole editing process takes me time. Um, when homework starts to kick off and I have to start studying for tests, I don't know how much I can do. I might just do like quick, easy vlogs. I don't know. I know it's going to be really hard for me this semester because I have to do a lot of studying with this class and yeah, I'm just going to try my best to keep up with you guys. If you want to keep following my journey and keep following everyday life, I do quick snips of the day on my Instagrams. It's and then Keto Lar is my actual Instagram that I post almost, I try to post every day. I'm not really a food blogger or a food vlogger because I don't make my food look good. Like it goes in one, comes out one. Don't make it pretty. It's just life, you know. But I found so many people through this ketogenic journey. It makes me so happy and it makes me thrilled for how amazing and how helpful and welcoming this community is. Wow, did this lighting change. It shows you how much lighting changes in three seconds. But it's actually been like five minutes, but that's okay. You get where I'm going. I found so many welcoming friends. They're so helpful, welcoming. No one's pushing products on you. No one's doing everything. And it's just so less stressful for me to not be involved in an MLM company. And I'm just super happy. Like I was super stressed that I wasn't gonna make money or I was gonna lose friends over it. And now it's like, if you don't wanna be involved with me or you don't wanna know about what I'm doing, then just don't follow me on Instagram. Don't text me, don't talk to me. I mean, everyone can see that I'm losing my weight. From recent pictures at the wedding, I wanna pop up a picture about what me and Adam looked like from last year to this year. Adam's weight loss transformation is mind blowing. He lost his chin, he's losing his stomach. Oh, it's raining. And I'm super pumped about that. And I'm, it's just, Yeah guys, that's like mind blowing how well he did and how well I'm doing. And you can tell we're both happier in our bodies. We're getting happier. I still don't like my thighs, but it is what it is. Thick thighs for life. And I don't want them for life, but that's just the slogan I, I hear. So I'm gonna quit rambling and go edit this video. And yeah, I will keep you posted on what we do for dinner. If we make anything, I don't know what the plan is because we have a chiropractic appointment at 3 p.m. And I'm going to get the beamer done to my foot because I just can't deal with this foot pain. I go to PT twice a week and my doctor cleared me, add this in, my doctor cleared me to go to the gym to work on the elliptical and bike and do weights now, just no leg press yet and no running on the treadmill, which I'm depressed about the leg press, not the treadmill part. But it's just, it's throbbing and I can't wait for this pain to be over. And that's also the reason why I haven't vlogged recently is because I've been in so much pain that I can't put a smile on the camera and I can't be happy for you guys. So I wanna show you guys me as much as I can, but at the same time, I'm in also so much pain and I thought the surgery would make it better and it's horrible and it made it kind of worse. 
So yeah, I will keep you guys posted on what we do. I will try to keep up with the smiles. I need some more support. So if anyone wants to connect with me or talk to me or become friends, drop it in the comments below because I want to meet with, I want to connect with you guys. I want to meet you guys. I don't even know if we live in the same state, but we can always talk and communicate. I'm hoping it's raining now. So guys, I will keep you posted on what we do the rest of the day. Hey guys, so quick dinner tonight. Super simple because, yeah. Someone, There's no food in this house. Because someone threw bacon at me. We have a lot of food in this house. We just don't have side dishes. It's a lot of pepper in it. Broccoli. That's all I can smell. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, he cooked some um, a hamburger. I cooked it. He cooked it because he she threw... Was mad. A pack of frozen bacon on my bad foot. She threw my shirt first. <laughs> Guys, compare that a shirt and a frozen pack of bacon. It was retaliation. A frozen pack of bacon. What was the name of your foot? <laughs> it was. It, wasn't. <laughs> it went on. right on my foot. I'm putting this all in there too. Okay. So he made some okay, broccoli. They'll see how you really are. Good. They'll see how you really are. Some broccoli, some bacon <laughs> flowing on me. And a hamburger, and then we are going to be making hopefully tonight, who not tomorrow. If we ever get done here. <laughs> so guys, hopefully we'll be making some keto snacks tonight. If we do, I'll show you tomorrow. And he always wants to make. Noise. I'm getting ready. I have to clear my throat. <laughs> Give me a for what? To finish. <laughs> So guys, um, yeah, I, if we do snacks tonight, if we do the... <laughs> so if we do the snacks, I'll show you try number three. If we do the snacks, then I'll show you tomorrow. And if we do the brownies, quit walking away from the... I'm not, I'm standing still. If we do the brownies and snacks tonight for dinner, um, I will show you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. And I hope you guys had a great day and could make it a face. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. We gotta deal with this bozo. Yeah. All right, guys, have a nice day and. Always live life with a smile. <laughs> Is that what you were getting ready for? Yep. <laughs> Why are you so. Because I'm hungry. Go eat. See ya. Bye. <laughs>